Hello, in this video we're going to calculate the marginal cost of producing various quantities of output and these examples will be using calculus. So example one, we have this total cost equation, 25 plus 2q. What is the marginal cost of producing the tenth unit of output? The first thing we need is marginal cost. The marginal cost is the derivative of total cost, so the derivative of 25 at constant is zero and the derivative of 2q is just 2. So the marginal cost of producing the tenth unit is $2. In fact, the marginal cost of producing any unit is $2 because marginal cost is always constant and it is always equal to 2. So if we produce the 14th unit of output, the marginal cost is $2. The 15th unit of output, same thing. All right, let's move on to another example. Here, the total cost equals 100 plus 0.25q squared. Let's find out what the marginal cost of producing the fourth unit of output is. So we get the derivative of total cost, which gives us marginal cost. The derivative of 100 is 0. The derivative of this last term, I'm going to bring the 2 down in front, so it's going to be 2 times 0.25. And then, then the exponent on the q squared, we subtract 1. That will simplify down to 0.5q. So marginal cost equals 1 half q. To figure out what marginal cost is at the fourth unit of output, plug 4 into the marginal cost equation. Where you see q, you can plug in 4, which I do down here. And the marginal cost will be $2. We could ask the marginal cost at another level of output. In this case, say the 20th unit of output. Same idea, plug 20 into the marginal cost equation, where we see Q, we now pl plug in 20. And in that case, the marginal cost of the 20th unit is $10. A uh, slightly more complicated total cost equation. Uh, what is the marginal cost of producing the 15th unit of output? So the marginal cost is a derivative of total cost with respect to output. The derivative of 440 is 0. The derivative of 120q is 120. And you can see how I took the derivative of this last term, bringing the 2 down in front, multiplying it through, and the subtracting 1 from the exponent. So the marginal cost is 120 plus 0.4q. At 15 units of output, plug this 15 in for q, which I do down here. And the marginal cost then for the 15th unit of output is $126. Example 4. An even slightly more complicated total cost equation. Here we want to find the marginal cost of producing the 10th unit of output. So here is the derivative result. Derivative of 18,000 is 0. The derivative of 25q is 25. The derivative of minus 4q squared will end up as minus 8q. And then the derivative of this last term here will be 30q squared. So to figure out what marginal cost is at the 10th unit of output, plug 10 into the marginal cost equation. So we got to plug 10 in. Uh, Q here, and then in the Q over here, we plug in a 10, and what do we get? $2,945. So the marginal cost of the 10th unit is almost $3,000. Moving on. So this is example five. We're given variable cost, not total cost. So you'll notice we're missing a constant here. Uh, we're missing fixed costs. Variable costs do not include fixed costs. And we want to find the marginal cost of producing the 8 thousandths unit. So taking the derivative of variable cost with respect to output will give us marginal cost. And the derivative of Q is 1. And the derivative of this last term gives us 0.02Q. Plugging 8,000 in for Q, the marginal cost here is going to be $161. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.